Hi YouTube, it's Gwen. I'm back. I wanted to hop on quickly to share like a little experiment, I guess, that happened accidentally. Um, so I was watching a video by African Hair God talking about uh, cutting hair when cutting natural hair when it's curly. I've always been under the thought process to straighten hair, but at some point it just hit me like you don't have to straighten curled natural hair to cut it. And so I stopped blowing my hair out to cut it. And I noticed I had tangled, pretty, pretty tangled hair, which natural hair tangles anyway. But um, what I was really trying to do was just blow my hair out. And in the process, I lost power. We had a storm and I lost power. So this side got pretty blown out and held well. This side <clears throat> began to curl back on itself. And so it got cut more when it was curly instead of blown out, because I went to my daughter's house. So this side got cut more when it was curly. And this side got cut more when it was blown out. And the difference I noticed is that the side that got cut while it was blown out is easier to comb versus the side that was cut when it was more curled. And that was the problem that I was having. The finger detangling was um, becoming more challenging. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, it's probably time to cut my hair. Because when my hair tangles, I take that as a sign to trim it up. So um, on the video, he was saying how it was a client that was expressing similar concerns as I was with the tangling and so forth. And so he recommended that the hair be blown out and cut. And so <clears throat> that was that's what I was in the process of doing. And actually it turned into an experiment where you can clearly see, like this side to me just looks better. Um, the cut is more smooth, more even, it's even easier to comb, or this side is more jagged, it's not straight. And that's what he proposed made the tangles, the unevenness of the hair um, from the different lengths, the hair being cut when maybe one hair is sprung back on itself and one is pulled out more, so the different lengths are created. So, <clears throat> I'm starting to believe that. I'm starting to feel like if you have natural hair, you should blow it out to cut it. Um, I know curly cuts are, you know, I know they work, you know, you get that look, but I'm not sure uh, as the effect on what it has on the hair under. I also need to throw in that I did dye my hair and the ends of my hair were dyed. And that's really where I was having the trouble of um, combing or finger detangling actually, because I typically don't, I don't comb, put combs and brushes in my hair, but I am for purposes of blowing it out so that I can uh, get it nice and straight. I will be buying a comb attachment so I can stop uh, you know, using the comb and a brush. But as for now, I will need this comb and a brush to um, blow my hair out. So that's what I'm about to do now is wash my hair, condition it, and blow it out again so that I can get the cut more even and see, you know, the parts that I kind of, you know, didn't cut as well, didn't do so good on. And so... Yeah, that that is what I'll be doing. So just stay tuned and watch my videos and notice my hair. I'll come back on and do an update on what I feel is an update on my hair cut and see, you know, if combs, not combing, my using actual physical combs, uh, you know, if that was affected by... I think what I'm trying to say is, I'm going to see if using combs is part of tangles helping my hair or not. Um, after I get this nice cut, 
get all of the dyed hair off. Now, I won't be dyeing my hair again because every time I dye my hair, I don't condition it enough consistently, I guess, or quality enough so that I don't have that problem of tangling. I don't have split ends, but the tangles I do have. So it could be a normal process. It's a journey I'm about to go on. So just stay tuned and keep watching. Also, when my hair is shorter, that's when I tend to style it more um, because I just feel like it's easier when it's shorter. When it's longer, I don't want to do anything to it except wear it in an afro. So you'll probably see some um, different styles because my hair is shorter. And when it's shorter, I do tend to define my curls. Um, that's really my style. That's my only style, really, when I'm saying style. It's just defining my curls, which is something I don't do when it's longer because I just, you know, my whole hair regimen routine is based on simple, quick, easy. I don't want a regimen or wash day that's hours, and I, I don't I don't have time for that. So, yeah. So stay tuned, keep watching. If Thank you for watching my video so far. I hope you keep watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.